Hello and welcome to The Rambling Runner. My name is Matt Chittam and today I'm going to be reviewing the Nathan Hipster Waistband. So, for any of you out there who run during the winter outside and you're more than aware that traditional armband that you'd put your phone in or maybe even your iPod, uh, but traditionally most people will use their phone when they're running. Either it's you know, connecting to an, a running app like Strava or just for your music, whether it's, you know, you know Spotify or Audible or a podcast like the Rambling Runner podcast please subscribe and um, you know during the winter it's hard to put those armbands on because over the top of a jacket or on multiple layers it usually doesn't fit very well often they slide down so in those cases you have the hipster you know, the Nathan hipster waistband now they call it the hipster waistband not because you have to wear it if you're, you know, in the in the boroughs of Brooklyn, um, you know, and you are you're growing a beard and you listen to, um, you know, crazy music. It's instead, you know, sits on your hips. It's a waistband. It just goes straight across. You see, there's nothing to adjust. So this is a size medium. It fits me well. I'm about a size 32 waist, uh, depending if it's before or after the holidays. And um, I really enjoy this product. So for me. The main use is to hold my iPhone while I'm running. Um, and for that, there's an interior pocket. So this is kind of a, a flap that comes up in the bottom and the top. You open it in and you put your phone in there. Now, if you go onto the Nathan website, they'll also tell you that this is great for, you know, if you want to use gels or things like that that you want on your run. Obviously, if you're running longer and you want to have a credit card or an ATM card or anything else that you'd want to have on you, this band is a good option. It fits well for me. Um, I have, I had a iPhone 6 and it fit very well in here. I recently upgraded to the iPhone 8 Plus, which is considerably bigger. So it barely fits in here, but it does fit. And the nice thing about this waistband is, is that it doesn't actually bounce very much. So I'm able to go on runs of any length and it really does a very good job and I really enjoy it. Um, the key for me with having the iPhone in here is the wireless headphones. So you don't have to worry about the cord. For the most part, when I have used the cord, it hasn't been a big issue, but I really can't say that I've used it a whole heck of a lot. If you are gonna use the cord, then I would suggest putting your phone in front as opposed to in the back. Um, just because of the cord length and other issues that might come up. Um, the other thing to think about with these bands are if you're running a long run outside during the winter and you use gels or you do uh, use some sort of nutrition during the course of your run, you're going to find that opening the flaps with gloves on can be a challenge. So for me, I put my iPhone in and out at the end, the beginning and end of a run. And at those times, I don't have gloves on. But the times that I have tried to negotiate them with gloves, it was a little tricky. So if you're doing it in the middle of a run, it's not necessarily ideal. Uh, the only other challenge or potential challenge for this waistband is body type. So for me, it fits my body well, um, but I can't speak for every body type out there because it's a non-adjustable band. If, you, if you're bigger, it might not fit very well. It might be kind of, it might sit a little lower on your body and it might wrinkle up. Um, I can see that being an issue. So if you do have a bigger frame, you might want to give it a try in the store uh, before you buy it as opposed to purchasing it on Amazon or something like that. Um, I did buy this at uh, the local running shop here in Rhode Island called uh, Roadrunner, which is in uh, Providence. So thank you for that, guys. It was uh, actually at their recommendation. So. Um, if you have any other suggestions or you have any questions for me about this product, you can either leave a comment below uh, or you can follow me on Instagram at rambling underscore runner where you can get updates not only on my own personal running but on the podcast as well. And I'm recording this right before January 1st and January is going to be a great month for the podcast. I would subscribe if I were you if you are a dedicated amateur running and you love listening to podcasts. So thank you very much and happy running.